Hey everyone, you know, I hope this video finds you in good health and you guys are doing really well, but I've just seen so much of the hysteria that's going around with coronavirus and I even heard people talking today and, and some person said it's a new plague that, you know, I really felt obligated to make this video to tell everyone that, you know, this coronavirus is not a threat. We are praying and, you know, hope that everyone that has it kind of in China and Wuhan, you know, they get better. But I want to clarify some information so kind of people understand, you know, what's going on and, you know, you know, why things are okay. So really, what is coronavirus first? It's, it's this virus that, you know, affects your upper respiratory system and, you know, it can be deadly, but it's just like another form of kind of influenza. So looking at the name coronavirus, what does that mean? You know, corona actually means crown. And in biology, things are often named kind of based on their structure because the structure of something tells you a lot about its function and what it does, right? You know, another example would be the streptococcus pneumonia, right? We just call it pneumonia because it's much easier to say. But the, the streptococcus part, the coccus part means that the bacteria is just like spherical. So, you know, when they look at stains and things like that, they can see, you know, it's that circular um, structure. So it has a specific, um, you know, function. So kind of think about like different cars, why different cars are designed the way they are, like a pickup truck, right? You have that whole back part so it can, you know, carry, you know, resources or, you know, equipment from one place to another versus like a family car, you know, it doesn't have that. So the structure of something tells you a lot about um, what it does. So again, the coronavirus, you know, can be deadly, but, you know, people are starting to die in China and Wuhan. And like I said, it's a, it's an upper respiratory kind of disease and infection. And if you think about the, where is the air quality the worst in the world? It's in China because they've been doing this, you know, unregulated manufacturing and just pumping so much pollution into the air. And you can just look at pictures and just see the smog. And people have been wearing masks for a very, very long time. So when you combine that horrible air quality with, you know, anything like the flu or any type of virus, you know, their immune system is already fighting really hard to, you know, fight off what's going on in their body. So when you combine it like this, you know, people, you know, are going to die. And if you look at the death toll, it's been primarily in people who are, you know, I think like 55 or older, and they already have, you know, other health conditions. So when your immune system is really compromised and it's already working hard to fight off like, you know, liver cirrhosis or anything else like that, then like another infection can, can be very dangerous and deadly. But I want you guys to remember too, that the flu in 2018 to 2019 killed you know, 60,000 people worldwide. So there's been a, like a death toll of about like 80, you know, up until today. And, you know, again, I'm, I'm sad that, you know, people are dying, but just realize that the scope of this thing is it's not nearly as bad as it looks. And the news companies are always reporting on it because how does you know, news companies make money, right? From the ad revenue and getting people to click on their, their things and they try to scare you and they try to get you addicted into this cycle of just kind of anxiety and you kind of start to love it and it's, it's just not good. So I'm, I'm saying to everyone that, you know, it's okay, you know, don't let this go to your head and, you know, we're praying and, and hoping and whenever you see this in the news, instead of kind of feeling the anxiety or whatever, just be happy that, you know, these news companies are on top of it and, you know, people are, are working hard worldwide to like keep it under control. But, you know, this isn't the plague. This isn't some horrible thing that's going to, you know, wipe out the world or anything. So just, you know, keep everything perspective and, you know, really try to remain positive and um, let's hope everyone feels better worldwide. So, you know, thank you for watching.